Hello everyone. It's been a long time, but I thought I would give a little update as to what I've been doing. I've uh, been having some real life stuff that's been getting in the way of everything that I've been working on, but <laughs> when I have some spare time, I've gone back to Minecraft a little bit and been uh, working on getting the advancements done, which was the ultimate goal of the hardcore world that I have here. And there's a few things I can show you that I've been working on. <clears throat> and it's a sunset, and I'm not going to show it to you at night. So. <clears throat> I worked on the villager housing situation. You can see I've got a, instead of a shack, it's more of a bunker, but uh, looks a bit nicer, I think. I like this acacia wood uh, we just have in here, a bunch of little stalls for them to stand in, and they've got their little workstations down there, and I can trade with them in here. And, got lights in strategic places where you can't see them but they still keep the place bright enough inside and I've done a similar thing over on the other side with the librarians which we were getting our enchantment books from so it looks pretty much exactly the same but with different color wood And uh, I haven't changed a whole lot other than that because I'm to the point now where it's about to where I'm going to need to start fighting some bosses, very dangerous things. And uh, in order to aid with that, I've started a new world, the aptly named Hardcore Workshop. <laughs> place for me to test things out. This is a standard game, uh, not hardcore. If I die, then I don't lose everything. And I've just been building up. I have just recently gotten to mining in the nether, getting the ancient debris, and I've got a suit of armor and a sword, and pretty close to where I would want to be to... Uh, go fight bosses. I almost have a full backup suit of armor and a backup sword. So that if I die, I have something to put on and go get my stuff <laughs> that I drop. <clears throat> Not something I have to worry about in hardcore, because if I die, it's all over, but we're going to be fighting some pretty dangerous monsters. Maybe I'll take some videos of those when I get to it. I've built a number of things. Uh, much of it would look familiar. Yeah, we've got our composter. and We've got a super smelter over here that looks a bit like the one we have in the other world. I have it set up to load the input there and then the output comes out down here, the bricks from all that nether mining and then I'm fueling it with lava buckets that I'll put in here. And I'll fill those lava buckets from this lava farm I built here. It's kind of a room full of cauldrons, and I just run through it and grab whichever ones happen to be full of lava, and then go out this exit over here, and then pop those lava buckets up in there, and that'll keep it all fueled. It's a pretty fast furnace. You can see it just moves. Tick, 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 tick. So, that was fun and kind of time consuming to build. And here we have a villager trading hall, which is just built in the dirt. <laughs> it's a, a rougher version of what I just showed you in the other world, so I'm not going to go through and show you too much, but you can see that they're standing on there workstation blocks. I can trade with them. Anyway, 
It's basically all the same setup that I had before. But there's a few new things. I have a fully automated carrot farm. Empties out down there. These guys just trade carrots with each other. Well, this, this guy tries to give carrots to that guy and it ends up down there. Um, of course, I always have an iron farm. And for the first time, I built a pumpkin and melon farm. You can see the melon in there. It just disappeared. That's because I've got a mine cart under there pulling all the pumpkins and melons that get crushed by these uh, pistons, knocked off the stems, I should say, and brings them up here and puts them into these chests. Ultimately ends up down in this bottom chest here. I had not built one of those before, so that was kind of fun. Not a super hard machine to build, but never gotten around to building one before. This is a stalagmite, or a pointed dripstone farm. When the stalagmites grow down in front of these observers, it pushes the pistons out, breaks them off, and then that minecart you can see zipping around deposits them down here, which is what I used to build that lava farm, obviously. You get a lot of pointed dripstone. There's like 70-something cauldrons in there, I think. It might be 80-something. Took a lot of pointed dripstone. And the stuff grows so slow that it's nice to have something like that that automates the process of collecting it. I'm still collecting that by hand in the other game. But uh, that's about all I have to show you. I wanted to keep this one nice and short. This is my village b villager breeding area. They just harvest this stuff and breed with each other. And, and then whenever I have some place that needs a new villager, mostly down in that uh, trading area there. I can just open up a hole, someone will jump in, and, and then they'll breed a replacement. That uh, is a build inspired by ENX04 for anybody who wants to look at his work that I copied there. Uh, Minecraft Elegance is his video series. Quite good. I think that's about it, other than maybe showing you the mines, and, well, the mines look about like they did in the other game. I've changed my tunneling technique a little bit, still refining the best way to do it. If you guys really want me to, then I will do a video on it. Here we have a very compact animal farm solution. I can just come in here and feed these animals, and then babies will be born and then they um, crowd out some of the adults down into uh, the chest below where I can pick up the uh, products so I don't have to kill the animals myself. <laughs> they basically harvest themselves. And then I've got a miniature automatic chicken farm. I've showed those before. This one's just one hopper, but I've got it set up down here without going into the whole machine, you can see part of it. There's an automatic sorter in there that sorts the uh, chicken eggs into that first box, and then those uh, raw chicken into the second, and the feathers into the third. That um, <clears throat> chicken egg box ends up feeding back up into that water stream you can see over there that comes up over there and down into the to that dispenser, which fires it back down into this area with the hopper. And since there's so many chickens in there, when one of them turns into a baby chicken, eventually it grows up and crowds the others and feeds the stuff through. Anyway, some of that stuff isn't terribly new, but there you have it. Um, build another one of those iron farms like I have in the other game. Up there in the sky, it just drops it down there. In that pit, it used to be a different kind of iron farm but uh, I ended up building it up in the sky because there's too many caverns under the ground and it made it not work. So, anyway, that's more than I really wanted to say about all of this. That's, uh, that's the Hardcore Workshop. Pretty soon I'm going to be fighting bosses and preparing to fight them on the Hardcore account. That's what I've been up to. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you again next time. Until then, have a good one. Bye now.